Hello planner friends, it's Ashley. I know it's been a long time and I have not created a video, but I am here finally. Um, just a quick update, life kind of took over and I started working as a new nurse and that kind of took over and then I've also been enjoying our swimming pool and just kind of enjoying summer and, and YouTube and Instagram and stuff all got put on the back burner, which is okay because that does happen sometimes. But here's a quick little update if you haven't seen my Instagram. I have a new planner. This is a passion planner. It is a medium. So passion planner has small, medium, and large planners. This is an undated weekly layout. And the reason why I switched from my happy planner to a passion planner is just to kind of change things up a little bit. I don't have any planner piece right now, and I'm just trying different things. Um, I actually even ordered another planner, a custom planner that's supposed to come towards the end of this month. So once I get it, I'll also review that one with you guys. So that's just kind of a quick little update, but this is the passion planner I chose. I absolutely love this cover. Isn't it so stinking gorgeous? It's called Everest Green or Forest Green or something like that. Some kind of green. I don't know, um, but I love the cover. I love the palm leaves on it. It's so stinking pretty. And now when we open this up to the weekly section, I've already completed a week inside of here. Well, partially completed. I um, kind of stopped filling things in towards the end of the week, which typically happens, right? But during this week, I used some of the stickers that I got from the Passion Planner. So I got the florals and foliage, let's go stickers and the summer vibes. Um, so I have those stickers, but I want to use my happy planner stickers in here because I want to be a rebel. You know, we're going to, we're going to uh, mix and match here some, but I chose the colorful leopard stickers from the happy planner because one thing I'm not a fan of in this planner is like, Things are already titled and I don't want them to be titled. You guys know me, if you've been following me, watching my videos and stuff, you know I like a good neutral planner where I get to title things, I get to decide what categories are for and stuff. So um, I did, this week I put washi tape over it, but I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of like washi tape and layering it and stuff. But we are gonna try the stickers that are in here because there's like the washi sticker strips and I like these way more than regular washi tape. What's the difference? I have no idea. I just like these way more. I'm going to give these a go. These are going to be a little bit thinner, but I think that if I use some of the lighter ones on here, it'll look like it's layered with this black box. So we're going to cover these up. Um, over here on this side, it says this week's focus. I do like that, but I'll probably cover it up too, just to pull whatever I use down here up there, if that makes sense. Um, so I have these stickers. We're going to use those. And then I also did a little bit of pre-planning for the week. So I kind of know what's going on, sort of. I at least have my work scheduled down in a staff meeting that I have to do this week, so that's the main thing. And as the rest of the weekend, the current weekend that I'm on, um, today is actually Saturday. Well, it's Saturday night, so we're still here. Um, but after today and tomorrow, I'll kind of know more about what's going on during the week. So I just have a little bit of pre-planning going. So I'll go ahead and add my work schedule and stuff in there. And then I start um, scheduling things in around that. So let's go ahead and we will get started and uh, see what we come up with. I love the colorful leopard stickers. They are so stinking cute. The first thing I am going to do is go back to those washi strips in here. The washi sticker strips. And we're going to cover cover these boxes up and see what we come up with. I wish I should have known better. I told myself when I got this sticker book to order two of them and I did not do that and I wish I would have. I think we'll go, to see I really wanted to use these ones but I only have these really short ones and it would take a lot of these to cover that up. So I might be able to do this one and make it look a little bit like it's layered. And that covers up where it says space of infinite possibility. We'll add one of these smaller ones to it so it goes a little further down. And it kind of overlaps at the end. That looks pretty cute, I think. And then we'll take this one, we'll put it here. This is probably about the same size. Oh, it's so close. Okay, so scoot this over some. That way it's not totally off center. It's a little better. And then I wonder, should I do like a pink one to break it up and then I can use this up there? 
like in the weekly pages, or the weekly pages, in the days up here. I can use some more of this pink up there. This is kind of like a trial phase for me in this planner because I'll be honest, right now, it's really, really hard to go from using one planner for almost four years to changing it. It's kind of a big adjustment. And then also my planning style inside of here, I have to learn. And I've not gotten that figured out yet because this is only my second week using it. But we'll get there and we'll get it figured out. I'm going to take one of these, the green ones. We'll put it up here first over this week's focus. It's going to be the same size. So we'll cover, well close, close enough. Cover that up and then I'll also use a pink one so then it ties some of that pink in up here. I'll probably have to use one and a half. Nope, that's good enough. Good enough for me. Um, so there's that part of it. And what I, um, like if you guys can see here on the side, it kind of already has these little boxes down here categorized. So it says like top priority, priority, and errands. Last week I covered those up and I put like a this week. That way I could just have a general running checklist and it wasn't like categorized, but I think I'm gonna leave it and kind of follow those categories this week, at least for this section over here. And then this section, I think I'm gonna use it for social media because that's what I what I kind of did last week, sort of, kind of, not really. Um, so I'm gonna continue that for this week and uh, use this section to plan out social media. So let's see what other stickers we have in here and what else we can come up with for this spread. I like this one that says, follow your wildest dreams and it matches that. So we're gonna do this. Here. Each week, there's um, little quotes over here on this side, which I do appreciate, um, but it's also super easy to cover those up, which I like. So that's covered up. That sticker's a little crooked, but that's okay, right? We're gonna leave it. That doesn't really match, but I do like that, the routine. Note to self, beautiful weekend, that's cute. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. Um. I'm used to, I'm also used to like, this is, this is crazy, but like in the happy planner, you know how they make stickers that actually line up with all their boxes. I haven't found that the passion planner does that. Their stickers, if say was to pull this out like this, like say we used to use this one. It doesn't match like any of these. Do you see what I mean? How it doesn't, it's like too wide. I mean, yeah, this would be cute up here. You could do something else with it. You could even cut this in half, I understand, to make it fit or whatever, but I'm just used to the Happy Planner, how they, their stickers match their boxes and it's all sized up correctly. So it's a little bit, um, something to kind of get used to with this new layout. But we're gonna make it work. We're gonna give it a go. See how I like it. Let's see, what do I work? I work, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of this week from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Now I've also thought about, so here's the other problem that I'm running into. I work third shift and I don't flip flop back in between routines. So on my days off of work, I don't try to get up early and then go to sleep at a decent time because then I turn into a big, big zombie. So what I do is like, even on my days off, I stay up half the night. So I've thought about making this like 6 p.m. till um, 10.30 a.m. And then I would have like this from like seven to seven completely blocked off, like would be the nighttime that I have to work. Does that make sense? Versus blocking it off from like here from seven all the way down here up until seven over here. But I don't know for sure if I wanna commit to that yet. Um, I think maybe for this week I won't and the next week I'll give it a go. So we'll see, we'll see how that, how that goes. Um, what other stickers do we want to use? Let's actually figure out what we're going to use for my work schedule. Oh, see, these are really cute. Work. We'll do those ones. What did I say I worked? Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Whoops. Let's go there. Thursday. I might get out some mild liners too, just to kind of block off those times, but I may not, we'll see how this goes. 
I'm thinking, so Tuesday morning I have a staff meeting. So is there something, did one of those say meeting? I don't even know. ASAP in the plan. Appointment. So I have those ones that say meeting. So that'll work. So we'll do this one here. Kind of over, starts at like 7.30. Actually the meeting is from eight to nine, but the sticker starts at like 7.30. Actually it starts way earlier than that, 6.30. But that's okay. So Tuesday morning, I have a staff meeting from eight to nine. So there's that. That's the main things here that I have going on. I think Tuesday also I want to take my son's school shop shopping and start getting school clothes, which is ridiculous to even think about. You guys, why is it school time already? I swear we just started summer. Um, so if I do that, I'm going to do that on Tuesday. So let's put, I don't want to use a green sticker on Tuesday because I already did that one. So, and here's the other thing that's kind of me getting used to. I used to block schedule all the time. So time blocking, which is kind of what this is. It's got your times on there. And I used to do that all the time in my um, hourly happy planner that I had, but I did that day by day. So like as a part of my morning routine, I would block schedule my day. So it's kind of hard right now for me to block schedule. Like I don't know for sure what time Tuesday I'm going to go school shopping. You know what I mean? You know, if we get done with the meeting at nine, maybe we have breakfast. We kind of chill out for a little bit, me and my kiddo, and then maybe we go or maybe we wait till the evening. Like I have no idea. So it, it's kind of hard for me to use these, but I'm also using them for like work. Does that make sense? So I don't know. I'm kind of... I'm just kind of torn there on what to do. Um, like this last week I made just like checklists and stuff and I just started writing checklists out. And then some things I did put in um, like my workouts last week that I was supposed to do and I didn't do any of them. Um, I did schedule all those for four o'clock but I didn't do them. Hmm, not good, not good. We're just gonna make general checklists like I was doing before. So like Monday, we'll do this sticker here, this little corner one. And then I'll kind of make a checklist from there. And then Tuesday I'm gonna do something similar, but we're gonna flip it upside down. So we're gonna do like this, and I'll just put the checklist above the sticker, which is fine by me. Now Wednesday, uh, Wednesday or maybe Thursday morning. See what I have to do is I have to meal prep for these three days in a row, make sure I have my meals and stuff ready to go. But I don't know if I wanna do that on Wednesday or Thursday. And it is really important that I do that because if not, I order out, I eat junk food, and then I don't work out, and then I wonder why my clothes don't fit me anymore. I know, it's very confusing, isn't it? <laughs> um, so, I think I'm gonna schedule it for Wednesday. That gives me a little bit of a buffer, but I'm gonna schedule it for Wednesday just in case I don't get all of my food prep done, I can finish it on Thursday. So let's do that. Um, so, oh, this is a perfect sticker. Find a way, not an excuse. It's really long. So we are going to cut it, do this. Uh, it's probably not gonna happen at 9 a.m because I will probably be sleeping, but I'm just gonna use this as like a focus of the day for like, hey, do your meal prep, Ashley. Don't make excuses about it, just do it. You know, those are really crooked, but that's okay. Um, next up, actually let's write some of this stuff in because if I don't, we're gonna, I'm gonna be forgetting what's going on. I like to draw these little squiggly arrows so we'll do meal prep. I have the staff meeting from 8A to 9A. Let's see if we can find some titles for our checklist. I'm actually gonna use this sticker here on Thursday, probably about here. And we're gonna title this prep. And this is where I'll finish kind of prepping for work. So pack my bag, pack lunch, 
let's see, it's Thursday, so pack bag, pack lunch. Um, I need to make sure I take my binder with me. So I have it. So that'll be kind of like a start to my prep list of things I need to do for work. I really like these stickers that say the plan. Let's just do it here. The plan. And then I'll tell you what. After my staff meeting Tuesday morning, that's when I can do a workout and then I'll shower, get ready. Then me and my kiddo will go um, school shopping. So I think that'll work out good. Let's figure out what I can use for, actually I'm gonna use these coffees is what I'm gonna use for my workouts because I uh, drink my pre-workout beforehand and I drink it in a, um, a tumbler like this. I keep saying coffees because I always think of cold brew, but I also think of pre-workout, if that makes any sense whatsoever. You guys are probably like, shut up, just plan, nobody cares. <laughs> but we're gonna use a pink one for Tuesday. So we're gonna say 9.30 a.m. will be my workout from 9.30, probably till, let's just say till 10.30, give me a little bit of wiggle room. And then around 10.30, okay, so that works out good. And then the plan here is going to be school shopping with Levi. I wish I was like really good at calligraphy, you know, but I'm not. So Thursday, this is where the 4 p.m. workouts need to come into play, where I'm doing them at four o'clock. So then I have time and do my workout and then shower and get ready for work. So at 4 p.m. is gonna be my workout. And we're gonna alternate that with the green, I think. Kind of keep on with this pink and green thing. Theme that we have going on. So Wednesday, let's do it. I need to meal prep. So we're gonna do it maybe around noon and then eat lunch and then I'll meal prep. Let's just write down 12 o'clock. It'll be fine. I'll go with it. I'll figure it out. Find a way, not an excuse. Need to have that tattooed on my forehead. <laughs> so Monday, I'm just going to stick it up here. I can't guarantee that it's going to happen up here, but we're just going to kind of do a little bit of layering. And we're just going to write workout. All right, so there's those. Sunday, I need one more. It needs to be green. Sunday, I will work Saturday night. So I work from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. I come home, I'll go to sleep. I usually don't get up until like anywhere between 12.30 and 2.30. It just depends on how exhausted I am. This is the th night, third night. So I'll probably be get, uh, not getting up until 2.30. So let's put this down here again at like 4.00 and we'll go with 4 p.m. workout. All right, all right, all right. It's looking good, looking good. I do apologize if this is taking forever. I will try to cut out as much of like the sticker flips, flip throughs that I can and stuff, um, especially with me getting into a new, a new planner and stuff, trying to figure out my own, own routine. That does take a little bit of, a little bit of time. This one says, give yourself grace. We're gonna split these two boxes and we'll just put it there. Kind of crooked, but that's okay. I don't know what I'm sticking that there for, but I'm going to. I'm also gonna put one over here on Sunday just to kind of balance those out a little bit. Probably just be maybe a little checklist or something that I make. Just to add a few more stickers. All right, let's do a little bit more of the leopard ones and then I think I'm gonna be finished with it. So, I'll take this one, we'll add it. Ooh, let's not do that. I don't know, let's put it over here. This will be fine. One there. And we'll do 
one at the top over here. I'm going to stick one right up here. We'll just stick it. It'll be fine. We'll figure it out, right? All right, y'all. I think that's going to work for me. I think I'm going to leave it. I might end up throwing one of these like quote stickers over here. I might not. For this week, I actually want to print out. I have a really cute picture of me and my kiddo from swimming. And I'm going to print it out and stick it on here and then um, just make a little note about it. So there's a little bit of memory keeping because I kind of went with like a summer vibe here. And then that was a part of, you know, summer vibes is swimming. So I might just leave this blank for now and then I'll decide what it is that I'm going to put over here. So yeah, I think for now I'm just going to leave it where it is, but this is going to be my spread for the week. I will post an after the pin picture, so if you guys want to see how I end up completing this spread and stuff, make sure you're following me on Instagram. It is linked down below in the description box. I do apologize for me taking forever and taking a few months off and stuff. I know many of you guys have messaged me wanting to see more videos, and I am incredibly thankful for that, so thank you. I appreciate it. But I am back. The plan is to make at least one video a week. On the really good weeks, I might make a couple of videos, but at least one. So I don't know if it's going to be a playing with me video, if it's going to be a Bible study, a memory keep with me video. It'll be something along the lines of planning. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.